Either to discuss on the lightly products where iron metal is heated separately. So you heat metal, uh, iron. All right. Uh, with chlorine, bromine, iodine. Okay, the three of them. Their answers are stated in the table below. Using the data booklet, they really tell you use data booklet. Suggest who is correct. A, B, C, or D. This is actually MCQ. Include relevant equation and calculation. If you take a look, the difference there is the iron. Ion in the salt. Is it D become Fe3 plus or D become Fe2 plus? Okay, manage to get your data booklet value out. So they are all reacting with who? They are all reacting with your iron solid. So iron solid, which E0 value do you choose? That's always the first question. Right? We did this in electrochem. That's why I say electrochem must come first before here. Fe. Those I've taught you before, if you remember, we don't go three plus here. You go two plus because they're transition metal ions. Remember, slow and steady. Don't be greedy. So you must first clear this value. Then later, you then consider whether Fe2 plus will be further oxidized to Fe3 plus i.e. the second value over here. Ladies and gentlemen, these are the five E0 value. And again, this is how we present in the exam. There's nothing wrong. You don't have to write the reversible arrow. Are you with me? All right, because this is the, sec the second way we can present. And it's shorter because you write less. All right, so it's very fast. So what we're going to do is let the two things react. Who? Cool. All right. Okay, we're going to let, uh, once again, the iron react with we try out chlorine first if you don't mind here we go let it react with chlorine make sense they're opposite sides so one to get oxidized one to get reduced a redox reaction is uh is possible so we need to calculate what we call the e naught value make sense so here we go so from here i'm going to calculate the e naught value first all right e naught cell to check its feasibility E0 cell is equal to E0 R minus E0 O. So who is the E0 R? Hope you agree with me. The one we're going to get reduced is here. And the one to get oxidized is here. Okay. So here we go. The R will be plus 1.36 minus minus 0 0.44. Very easy. Okay. And then you'll get a... Uh, do I have a value here? Uh, someone in the calculator, positive 1.80, I think. Yes, my max should be okay. Therefore, we say this reaction is spontaneous. Then, which also means I have form what? I have form Fe2 plus, that is form. But I need to check one more round. I need to check here. All right, now where am I? I am here. Make sense, everyone? We did this electrochem. So here we go. This itself also want to go to the left side, i.e. the oxidized PC. Here will still be your R, the Cl2. So you calculate the second time. E0 cell is equal to E0 R, uh, which is positive 1.36, once again, minus E0 O plus 0 0.77. Very smooth. Someone, I think this is too positive number. You have a value for me? Sorry? 0 0.59. Thank you very much. And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, the reaction is spontaneous. I form Fe3+, plus, which means I form FeCl3 spontaneously. Can, can, can eliminate A. You can't be looking at nine boxes forever. You go crazy. Now you're left with six box or rather three rows. You do likewise for bromine and iodine. Your answer is option C. Congratulations. For those that may manage to do so, please get your hands dirty. Answer is option C. Go and take a look at bromine and iodine and you'll get the answer with the same treatment. Everyone okay? Enjoy. That's how they play. So in this world, there is no such thing as FEBR2, by right? There's only FEBR3. If you really consider it nicely, spontaneity-wise. 
If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you would like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com. You'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.